Hi everyone, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics and today I want to show you guys or tell you guys how to do a bath to release negative energy. Now I'm going to give you guys the best techniques that you can use to remove that negative energy from you that could be stopping you from reaching your goals. So watch this video all the way to the end because you guys know I'm always giving information to change your life. But if you're new to this channel, this is a law of attraction metaphysical channel that brings life changing information. So don't forget, join the family by liking, subscribing, and tapping the bell. Now, let's get started. I'm back. Now, what is it that I have to tell you about taking an energy bath, an uh, energy releasing bath? Listen, you guys, this is important. And I'm telling you, first of all, you don't do this every day. This is something you might want to do once a month, but I absolutely tell you, you do not do it more than once a week. For myself, I might do this every couple of months. Now, what is a energy releasing bath and how can it help you? Now, listen, you guys, your skin not only protects you or protects your organs, it also is a way of bringing in toxins at the same time, releasing toxins. So when you do an energy releasing bath, not only are you removing that negative energy that you've been absorbing all day, you are also releasing toxins in your body that could be causing havoc in your system. Now I'm gonna to get to the three ways of taking an energy releasing bath, the things that you can use, okay? The first thing I'm gonna tell you is, I spoke about this before, and it is a sea salt bath. Now, before you guys start writing me saying, hey, Matt, what about a Himalayan um, bath? What about this and that? Can I use regular table salt? No, you cannot use regular table salt, but you can use Himalayan salt, sea salt, and anything similar to this. I would not advise you to use anything that's not natural. Now remember you guys, I'm talking about natural products, so please don't go get anything out of the grocery store. We're looking for non-refined. We don't want anything with chemicals in it, okay? We want it as natural as possible to its natural state. Now the other thing is, we're not gonna put big clumps of sea salt in the bathtub, okay you guys? We want to put fine salt so that it dissolves in the water, okay? So again, you can use Himalayan salt, sea salt, whatever you wanna use, okay? Now, the next thing I wanna tell you that you can absolutely use, you can use Epton salt. You can use Epton salt if you wanna use a bath to help cleanse your aura. These are little things that you can do, but remember you guys, I need it to be as natural as possible. Now, what can you add to these things while doing this? You can absolutely add essential oils. Now, what essential oils will I tell you to put a couple of drops in the water? Lavender for an energy releasing bath would be the best. So lavender, you can use what I have here. I have here um, lavender. And we're talking about, again, essential oils. We want it as natural as possible. We're talking about um, eucalyptus I have here, and I have peppermint. You can use sage, oils, orange, whatever it is. I think I do have a little orange here to help. Yes, I do. So this is, listen, you guys, please be creative, okay? I tell people this all the time in the comment sec section. Be creative. The main thing is, is that you want to do a bath and you want to eliminate these toxins and these negative things that you picked up. Now, the next thing I want to show you or tell you is some extra things that you can do to absolutely cleanse your aura. You can absolutely, before taking a energy releasing bath or get rid of that negative energy releasing bath, um, you can absolutely sage your bathroom or, or wherever you're going to be. You can sage around the home um, before you do this. You can light candles while you're doing this. I have here a purification candle that you can absolutely light while you're taking a bath. You can also light incense. 
I have here Archangel Raphael, Razael. These um, incense are for spirituality. You can use Michael, Archangel Gabriel. You can use any of these things that you want to use. Again, this is your preference, but you want to set the intent that this is what I'm going to do. Now, hold on, you guys, because I'm going to give you the absolute steps that you're going to take. Now, another thing that you can do to cleanse yourself of negative energy, and it's difficult for a lot of people, so I, that's why I give the one in the back, but you can absolutely go to the ocean and take a bath. It's, it's stating that you are releasing whatever's in you that's negative. Now, what are the steps to doing this? Absolutely, I would do this if you're trying to release something. I might would do this on a Saturday. Why Saturday? Saturday is the day of releasing anything that you no longer want. So if I was to do this, I would do it on a Saturday. Another time that I would do this is during the full moon, entering the waning moon, when things start getting smaller, and at that point, you are releasing things from your life. So these are some tips that you can do, what you can do to um, release negative energy from you. Now, what would I do? The day that I was planning to do this, I would absolutely cleanse my home. Absolutely. Again, using sage. You can use Palo Santo. You can use different things. Again, be creative, you guys. Frankincense. You know, you can do whatever it is you want to do. Now, once you do that, I would absolutely run my bath water. I would light a candle representing what I'm doing. Now, I prefer a white candle because you're purifying yourself, getting ready to release whatever it is in you that no longer belongs there. So I would use a white candle. Another thing that you can use is a purple candle for spirituality, okay? Again, this is Lelokin's A-Wins and this purification. It's meant for this, okay? If you need any of these products, it's on my website in the description. So please feel free to go there and shop and buy these things. Now, once I light my candles and do whatever it is I wanna do, I might then add a couple of crystals in the room. What crystals might I add? I might add an amethyst, pink quartz, clear quartz. These are the little crystals that I might add in the bathroom while I'm doing this ritual. Again, you guys, this is a time when you're making time for yourself. I would do it at a time when there's no one home and I would spend at least an hour doing this, okay? Preparing, cleansing my home, you know, preparing the candles, the crystals, the incense. These are things I would do. I would put on some soft instrumental music, whatever it is that makes you feel happy. Now, as you run the bath water, I would not make it very hot. It would be lukewarm. I would sprinkle the sea salt, the Epton salt, the, um, the Himalayan salt, whatever you're choosing to use in the bath water. I would then drop a couple of essential oils. Again, I prefer lavender, but there's so many things that you can use. At that time, I would get in the water and I would stay in the water. Now, some people say, well, Yvette, while you're doing this, can you use some soaps and stuff? Listen, at this time, I don't want you to use anything, nothing, besides what you're using to cleanse yourself. Now, I will give you another tip. Before doing this, me, myself, I would take a shower. I would take a shower so any dirt on me is already off. This is just for releasing negative energy or toxins from your body that you need to get rid of. So what are you going to do in that bathtub? You're just going to bathe and relax and enjoy. You can sprinkle it on top of your head and just make sure you immerse yourself in this water. Now, after you've been in this water for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever you want to do, I would get out. Now, what, how would I get out? I would use, I would air dry, but I would use a towel maybe to pat my head dry. But other than that, I would air dry. And I would stay in this state for 24 hours, okay? I would not do another bath for 24 hours. Why? Because I want to still carry this aura around with me. 
if I have to wear clothes or put something on and leave the house, this day I would absolutely wear all white. Anything for purity, white, all white is great. Today I have on white and gray. So whatever it is to make you feel good, because remember we're purifying, we're releasing that negative energy and you want to make sure you did everything right. So if you're releasing everything and you're purified, wear white. And absolutely, do not start engaging in watching scary movies, watching social media, doing every single thing that can bring back that negative energy to you. At this point, you may want to do journaling, you might want to do scripting, you might want to do prayer, whatever it is you want to do. Now, getting back to the bath, I do want to state one thing. You can absolutely use uh, white sage soap, which is on my site also. If you want to um, wash yourself with something, but at this time, the bath is just to cleanse you from negativity. But you are very welcome to use a white sage soap to help cleanse yourself. Again, you guys, make sure you guys don't have any allergies to any of these things, okay? That's important. Now, I do want to show you guys a couple more things that involve salt. I have here salt baths that I have on my site. And this is for healing. This is for prosperity. And listen, these are still baths that will remove whatever it is inside of you. And at the same time, help you in other areas of your life. Maybe you're feeling stuck in life and you want to remove that negative energy. This type of bath right here already has the sea salt in it. But at the same time, it's cleansing you and bringing in prosperity. This one right here is for healing. Again, these are different things that you can absolutely use to bring in prosperity or bring in a healing, but at the same time, release whatever it is inside of you that need to go. So now we covered everything. Again, the greatest type of cleanse is the ocean, where you find all the natural sea salt there. But if you don't have access to an ocean or you don't want to jump in the ocean for safety, you absolutely can do a sea salt bath, an Epsom salt bath, a Himalayan salt bath, pink Himalayan salt bath. You can absolutely do these things to release whatever's from you. Now, one major tip that I want to give you guys, and I tell you guys this for anything you're about to do, make sure you set the intent while doing it, while cleansing your house with the sage, while preparing the water, while lighting the candles, while, while putting crystals around your house. I need you to set the intent that you are releasing whatever it is in you that do not belong there. Another thing that I could tell you to do, while you're in the bathtub, say a prayer, set the intent, thank God, thank the universe for releasing whatever is in you that do not need to be there. And state, this bath is intended to release whatever negative energy that is absorbed in my system. I don't need it, I don't want it, and it is now released and it is now gone. And you sit there and imagine the white light of the universe cleansing you, being around you, as you sit here and visualize anything negative releasing from your body. So you guys, the ones that clicked off the video before we got to the end, you sure missed the good part. So again, you guys, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics, always bringing you information to change your life. Today we went on and we discussed the best way and the best types of baths to release that negative energy, to get rid of all that suck and all that stuff in you that shouldn't be there. If you want to follow me, follow me at myworldofmetaphysics.com. The information is in the description. If you want any of these things, you can find them on my site at my store.myworldofmetaphysics.com. Again, everything is in the description. Again, this is Yvette. Sign up for coaching. Sign up for readings. Whatever it is you want. Again, everything is in the description. And namaste.